And you guys, as we fell, like, on the floor, literally whoever that was shooting up the house got closer and closer and closer to the house. And you could just feel, like, the bullets go right across. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a very special video. Um, we had did a community tab um, post. And you guys chose, basically we did a vote on what I should eat next in this video. So this one, the onion rings, the chili cheese fries, and the burger one. So that's what we're going to be having today. So yeah, you guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. And make sure to get your food and join along with me as we get to grubbing. So today I wanted to, I well, not today, but I noticed a lot of you guys have been asking about, um, oh shoot about like makeup videos and if I do makeup and stuff like that. So maybe many of you don't know, but I do have a channel. I haven't uploaded in there like in a really long time. So I wanna, I'm going to start uploading on there. I'm gonna start creating videos for you guys um, doing content. So if you guys wanna check it out, please check out my channel, please subscribe. And leave me a comment letting me know that you guys subscribe to my channel. It's going to be down in the description box. It's it's Crystal's Life. So do me a favor, guys. Go and support my lady. Subscribe. Show her some love, man. You know, if you love makeup or you don't, show her some love, man. She got some good skills over there, man. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the video, all right? Thanks, man. Peace. Check it out and stay tuned for my content I'm going to be bringing out and stuff like that. So... This gets to grab on you guys. So right here we got some chili cheese fries. It's weird you guys because I've never done like a solo chili cheese fries mukbang before. Mmm, it's good. I never done one at all, actually. So today. Mmm. Excuse me guys, I might be eating a little bit slow. I just had, um, about a week ago, I had my wisdom teeth pulled out. So I had two of them pulled out. So I had to eat a lot slower and stuff like that and stuff. But that way, none of the food gets caught on the other side. Anyways, but mm, this is so good. Delicious. Um, so today I want to talk about this once when I was a lot younger. Like I've stated before, I used to uh, go to a lot of flyer parties and stuff like that. I was from a party crew years ago, back when I was like in high school and stuff like that. That's just what I was into. And I used to be from a party crew. So I remember in high school, one t there was this one, like, I think it was on a Friday. Um, there was a party going on and a lot of our friends were talking about it. We, me and my other sister, we hung out in a group of probably, I would say like maybe eight to 10 people, girls and stuff like that. So there was, um, a flyer party went on that day. That night, actually. You know, I know how it is in high school. Everybody's, like, talking about, you know, this or that, what's going on. So, that was, like, going to be the party. And it was going to be on and cracking and all this stuff. So, we, me and my sister had went. We decided to go. I don't remember how we got there. But we got to there. We got there. Um, hmm. A group of the girls that we used to like kick it with and chill with, um, like three of them or four of them had boyfriends from that certain party crew, which the guys were a little bit older, obviously. And um, I think it was their crew or one of their, um, they were really like cool with like another party crew, so. I know how it was like when you to throw party crews, you would have like 
you would like sponsor other party crews and stuff like that. So I guess it was something like that. And this party, we had went to was in City Terrace. There, this is the burger. Mmm, this is good. Mm-hmm. Really good. It was in City Terrace and we got there, it was on and cracking with tons of people. Everybody was having fun, everybody was partying, knowing their thing, drinking. And back then I remember a lot of people would do like, like the balloons, Nas balloons or whatever. But you have people drinking, smoking, doing the balloons and stuff. I was just there chilling. We we're just chilling with our friends. Oh, there's there with my sister. Talking to different people, just chilling. You know, feeling out the vibe and stuff like that. So You guys, I think it wasn't too like far in. Like we were there for a little bit, but um, I can't remember. This was a long time ago. I was about probably sixteen when this happened. <clears throat> so no, it was like towards the end of the night. The party. I remember the party kind of dying down. Um. um People, some people already were leaving and stuff. Really. And you guys, out of nowhere, we just hear like shotguns. Everybody, no. Was the shotgun? Yeah, so we started all running inside. And as, it was like tons of us, you guys. It was probably like, I can't remember. It was probably like, I don't know, just a gang of people. We're all running inside. And I remember one of my friends, Myra, she fell to the floor. Everybody started just like dropping like flies on the floor. And, and you guys, as we fell like on the floor, literally whoever that was shooting up the house got closer and closer and closer to the house. And you could just feel like the bullets go right across. I was like literally like ducking and trying to like lay as flat as possible because literally you felt like the bullets like fly right past you like crazy. And then I remember my sister just saying, oh, you know, like, oh, you're squishing me, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or, or oh, you're heavy or I don't know when. Like everybody was like, all the girls were like, like scared, you know, they're like shedding it like, like fuck, you know. So I was like, oh my God. And then obviously, well, some of the guys that were in the house, they had they had guns, so they started firing back at the whoever it was. But after they knew the people, whoever that was, that was like blasting up the house, the guys came back in and was like, let's go, let's go, let's go. A couple of the cars were all like full of bullet holes. And I was like, oh my god. And we we're tripping out. We we're just like, what? So we go dropping out people. I think me and my sister were like the last people to be dropped off. But you guys. That was so scary. N not just that, but I had my sister that were made. She was a little bit younger, so I was like, oh my god, like I was scared that somebody was gonna get really hurt or possibly even myself getting hurt because those gunshots were like the they were shooting at a really close range. And 
and I was like, oh my goodness, like, thankfully, no one got hurt, I mean, a couple of people, cars got messed up, but nobody got hurt, luckily, by the grace of God, but, guys, that was a crazy night, and, you know, <clears throat> to make matters worse, I mean, I didn't know the person, the guy that, that lived there, I didn't know him personally, but I knew a friend of a friend of mine was dating this guy. And after a time, I heard, like, he didn't really have too much of a good reputation. So I don't know if that could have been a reason why. Or if it was because of the hood we were in, the neighborhood. You know, sometimes, like, when you're like in the party scene like that or you're just in that kind of scene like a lot of a lot of like the fools from the neighborhoods like whatever neighborhood you're in a lot of the guys don't like that oh they want to start taxing and stuff or a lot of the times a lot of them want to like get a free pass and you know get in free or whatever or whatever pay their way because you know a lot of the times those parties they're not free you have to pay like a little fee you know to get in I mean, you guys <clears throat> back when i was all into that like it was no joke like you were always like if you were into like the party the party crews and flyer parties and this, this and that there was always some crap going on you always hear like shootings or someone getting hurt or it's dumb shit yeah i just want to share that little quick story time with you guys i don't know what else to talk about but it is crazy like to be that young and not even really realize like the real danger you put yourself in while well, you put yourself into because you want to be like with your friends and you want to have all this fun in all reality but that's what happens and sometimes you hear about you know sometimes you know kids end up dying you know just being an innocent standby over nonsense so it's crazy but I have fun though I have fun um it was fun now now that I have like children and stuff now I'm like mm, I don't know How comfortable I would feel with my child, you know, going out like that and stuff and going to parties like that. But, you know, you guys, I'm so full. I try to eat as much as, as much as I was able to, but I'm so full. My jaw's killing me. You guys, maybe I might do a little story time about me getting my wisdom tooth pulled out. That was interesting, honestly. Like, you, you guys could tell, like, my face is still swollen. If I look swollen from my face, it's because of my, I, for me getting my wisdom tooth pulled out. But, yeah, you guys, I had so much fun with you guys, eating with you guys, and telling you guys my quick little story time. If you guys want to hear more story times, please let me know. And I'll do more in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take one more bite and that's it. And I'm going to be done. Alright guys. Alright you guys. So make sure to check out my YouTube channel. It's um, Crystal's Life. Check it out. Subscribe to me. I'm going to be bringing out content. 
Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later and hope you guys have a blessed one. Bye.